Hi guys, today I just caught this uh, silver carp. It's an uh, invasive species and it's actually, a lot of people call them Asian carp. They jump out of the water and uh, one thing that is nice about them is they're great for catfish bait. So today I'm going to show you how to cut them up for catfish bait. You can catch channel catfish, blue catfish, or flathead catfish on these guys. So if you have a sharp fillet knife, they're pretty easy to cut. And uh, you can get a lot of baits out of one fish, unlike gizzard shad, because they're pretty big fish. So uh, I'll show you how to cut them real quick. First thing you want to do is uh, I usually just kill them by cutting off the head. So that's relatively quick. Right there you go through the spine. Hi guys, I went ahead and uh, brought this uh, silver carp home, this Asian carp, and uh, just to get out of the wind and give you a better explanation on how I cut it up for catfish bait. So uh, catfish really like these. I think they work just about as good as shad, but they give you a lot more baits. Like right here you could probably get 10 to 20 baits on both sides. And um, the skin is pretty hard, so it stays on the hook really well. Um, and they're really easy to get because they're just all over a lot of rivers and river systems. But uh, to start off, is I'll usually take some bigger pieces and some smaller pieces and try to figure out what the fish are biting on. So if there's a lot of smaller fish in the area, I'll get a lot more bites on the smaller pieces. If there's a lot of bigger fishes, fish, I'll get a lot more bigger fish on the bigger pieces. So I might start by cutting a piece out about an inch over. Just cutting down right here. And then once I hit the backbone down a little bit, then I kind of cut horizontally across the backbone. And uh, right here I'm getting a nice piece of meat. Um, there's a lot of floating bones in these carp, which is a lot of the reason why they aren't commercially fished that much, even though they taste decent. But uh, they're just kind of hard to clean. But uh, the bones actually are nice when you're fishing because it can help keep the bait on the hook. So like here might be my first piece of bait right here. Maybe like a one inch by one inch square. This is a good place to start out. Um, here's a good piece. And when you hook through the uh, piece of Asian carp, you want to make sure to get the scales off the end of your hook because uh, that can keep you from getting fish if the scales are uh, at the tip of your hook. So this is one piece of bait I'd use right here. Um, if you want, you can take all the scales off. Um, it makes it a little bit easier for the fish to uh, get the bait off if you fillet the skin off as well. So I usually just leave the skin on and then maybe I'll come down a little bit and uh, maybe even grab a little bit of a bigger piece and see if there's any bigger fish in the area because usually in my experience bigger baits mean bigger fish not always but it seems to work for pretty well for me so maybe I'll cut again just go down till I hit the backbone and cut up and cut down and then uh, once you get to the belly there's not much meat there so I pretty much just stop. And here's another nice little piece of meat. Um, again if you want you can take some of the skin off but I like to leave it on because it helps keep the bait on the hook. So there's you can play with the sizes of bait and uh, I usually try different sizes and see which one works best for the place I'm fishing. And then sometimes if you want um, when I know there's really big fish in the area, like maybe 20 to 30 pound fish, I'll actually just cut straight through the fish and uh, just cut a section out completely. And I've cut a lot of fish on these bigger baits here too. So I'll just completely come down and just cut a pretty big whopping piece right here. And uh, this is both sides of the fillet. So the backbone's in the middle of this, and I'll hook it straight through. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller, maybe cut this a little bit. But uh, a lot of times I'll use baits even this size right here, and I'll catch a lot of fish on this, and I'll just hook it right through here and just go just under the backbone or just above the backbone and bring it out on the other side. So, uh, and if you want, you can cut these little fins off. It makes it easier for the catfish to grab in one gulp. So uh, this is a pretty good bait as well. So um, you can try all different sorts of baits. Um, I found they all work pretty well. 
I've caught catfish on these bigger baits as well as these smaller baits. I usually catch the larger catfish on the larger baits, but if you're mostly looking to go after either size catfish, like one to five pounds, I would try smaller baits about this size. So uh, those are my tips for cutting up Asian carp for bait. It's uh, I like to just kind of experiment with the sizes and the place I'm fishing at. So uh, those are my tips to you, and thanks for watching.